hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jo today I'll be making for you the Orioli bag this is a free pattern by the so sweetness it's designed by Sarah Lawson this is really a crossbody bag but I decided I want to modify it into a backpack it comes in two sizes large and small you can make it out of leather or woven fabrics as well I'm going to use vinyl for the exterior and the lining will be out of cotton go to the website i will place a link in the description you will download your free pattern and then come back here to follow along so instead of making a crossbody bag i'm making a backpack all i'm doing is adding two adjustable straps to the back along with four tabs you will need four rectangle rings i will place all the cutting instructions and the extra materials that you need in the description below as well after you've printed out your pattern and cut out your pattern pieces, you will adhere your interfacing to the corresponding pattern pieces. Let's begin by making our pocket. So take your pocket piece and fold it in half widthwise. You will mark an opening at the top that is three inches long. You will use a quarter inch seam allowance to sew around the two sides. After you've done this, you will turn your pocket piece through the trim and turn your pocket piece through the opening right sides out. You will top stitch across, top stitch the edge of the pocket with the opening using a one inch seam allowance. Take one of your lining pieces and you will find the center of that lining piece and you will mark for the if you're making a large size you will mark three and a half inches down from the top edge and this is where you will place your pocket after aligning the lining piece and the pocket together pin in place take this to your sewing machine and sew around the three edges using a one eighth seam allowance So wonderful you've attached your pocket to your lining piece so now we're gonna mark the darts onto our pattern pieces these darts are used to shape the bag so take your pattern piece line it up and mark the dart legs if you have an erasable pen that would be great you can use chalk or if you don't mind marking the fabric that's fine or pencil mark the darts and draw a center line You will mark your darts for both of the exterior pieces and the two lining pieces. Now you will take your exterior lining pieces after drawing in the darts. Line up the dart legs and making sure they match back and front pin if you're using woven fabric if you're using non-woven fabric such as leather or cork or vinyl you will clip instead when you take this to your sewing machine to sew along these lines make sure to reduce your stitch length as you approach the tip of the dart you will continue to sew directly off your fabric piece do not backstitch make sure you cut your thread tails long because you will tie to finish 
Repeat this for all four of your pattern pieces. And so now take your pieces and cut the excess from the dart about quarter inches down. the dart uh, seam allowance of the exterior pieces towards the inside and push the lining pieces or press the lining pieces to the outside of your bag or the outside of your pattern pieces so as you can see your bag is starting to, to take shape 